The next guy coming to the stage tells jokes. <laughs> Put your hands together for Mike Gladger, y'all. Hey guys. <laughs> oh man, so I don't know if you guys know, but uh, this is being recorded for XM Radio tonight. Um, and I decided to do a bunch of jokes with pictures. Uh, so uh, if you're listening to this on XM Radio in the future, uh, I'm sorry, and I, I hope we destroy the robot armies. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, I'm sorry again, Robot Masters. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'm Mike Bledger, uh, that's kind of evident, and uh, I want to talk tonight a little bit about uh, communication, uh, so let's do that. No left turns. Yeah, you've seen that, right? We, we all have. But why do we always have to focus on the negatives? You know what I'm saying? Like. Consider your options. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hell oh, yeah. And this one, oh, the yield, I love the yield sign, but why is it the only sign that we have that's in ye old English? <laughs> you know, I just think we're missing out on an opportunity here. Halt who goes there. No parking, here be dragons. <laughs> you know, and the stop sign, it's just so negative, and you know, it only covers a fraction of the time when you're on the road. That's why I want to introduce this sign. <laughs> Keep on going. Now, a couple things to note. Uh, first off, color-coded, yeah. Uh, at five points, it is three points more efficient than a stop sign. I don't need those. And I, I don't I think it's a positive message, you know, it's encouraging. Keep on going. Now, yeah. Yeah, sure, you're gonna spend a little bit more on signage. <laughs> but what kind of world do you want to live in? Yeah. Now this... <laughs> Thank you, Hayward. <laughs> now this, I don't like this sign. This sign I fucking hate, because it's like, hidden entrance? Uh, yeah, not anymore, douchebag sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I hate when people ruin the endings to things, you know? It's like, if you're gonna have that sign, then fine. Okay, fine, but I think that 40 yards before it, you should have to have this one, too. <laughs> close your eyes, you don't want to see what's coming up next. <laughs> Especially if you close your eyes when you're driving. <laughs> now this, okay, there, a sign for a sign makes sense. Here, I don't think so, you know? Cause it's like, watch out, there's a stop sign coming up, but here's another sign before, so mm, watch out. It's just like, okay, fine, but if we're gonna do that, fuck it, let's go all the way. <laughs> yeah. I can do this all day long, sign. Mm. Now it's, it's kinda like this one, right? Narrow alley? Doesn't that just seem a bit, I don't know, redundant? Like, you know, unless you're also going to have this sign. And at that point, let's just be honest with ourselves. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, this, oh, man. I see this sign all the time around D.C., and I think that makes a lot of sense, uh, because it teaches you how to dodge bullets. <laughs> Which is a useful skill to have around D.C. I'm just like... Like, the only way it could be better is if they also had one with crack. <laughs> you can do it. Um, so there's a, there's a church in my neighborhood, and it's got this sign out front that says, Caution, when church in session, watch out, lights flashing, go slow. And it's just, it's a lot of words to read when you're just buzzing by. Uh, so, I want to replace the sign with this one. <laughs> Jesus Crossing. Sure, 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 sure. You know, because pe people see it, they, they know what to do, they slow down. Trust me, guys, when people see the sign, they slow down. <laughs> Some of them stop entirely and get out of their car and send you to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try to send you to hash it out. <laughs> All right, so a couple days ago, I was driving along, and I saw this sign. Uh, and then, like, three feet later, I saw this sign. <laughs> I was like, oh. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> I think it makes an even more compelling case to watch for deer. 
Oh, and, and this thing, like, whenever I see the people on the seesaw, see, yeah, seesaw, <laughs> like, I never, it's children at play, but I've never seen kids on a seesaw next to it. I have seen them playing hide and go seek. <laughs> Let's go with that one. It's, we're gonna save money. You know, we're gonna make it up from the keep on going signs. Oh, now this, this is one of my favorite signs. I love this sign, but why is it the only Tetris block that gets its own sign? <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. I just think, I don't know, driving should be more fun. <laughs> I never got the online team. <laughs> if anybody did, meet me later. Oh man. This one, this one, I think this is a really confusing sign, right? Like, speed limit enforced by aircraft. Uh, like, what do you mean, like, like this? <laughs> and he's happy because it's like a ride. <laughs> and they look like this. <laughs> Oh, oh guys, this, I think this is, this is actually the saddest street sign that there is, you know, cause like, I don't know, maybe it was a sign maker and he wanted to be an artist, but he's been doing signs for the past 20 years and, and now he's got no outlet. And I know, I know what some of you are saying, like, Mike, you're reading too much into this, maybe so, but I don't know, to be fair, I did see it right next to this one. So, um, so you tell me. Now this, okay. They've got one of this back here, right, right? And people look at this, and was like, oh man, that guy's in a wheelchair. He's handicapped. Uh, yeah, okay, but this guy's head is actually severed from his body. So, I don't know, I just think we're missing out on the bigger issue here, people. Yeah, that's, yeah. who's handicapped now, bitch? Oh, he's got nothing to say, because he's got no face. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this, I've been seeing a lot of these lately, and I, I think you'll have a sense of what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about racist street signs. Watch for black people? That's kind of fucked up. Oh, but your, but your white people can walk. And, and Marcus is in the back dancing. And this one, it's like, black people don't know how to ski. Like, that's not even relevant driving information. Come on, like the only place that would even make sense is if you had like a, a racist ski lodge. And, and to my knowledge, most ski lodges are already racist. So, mm. finally, I just want to say like this, this is a sign I do like. I'm talking of course about caution, wicked breakdancing and progress. And that's a sign I think we can get behind no matter what color you are. Guys, thank you very much. I'm Mike Bledger. You can check me out at MikeComedy.com on the web. Thank you very much.